Is it permissible to wear flat sandals, uh, not high heels, and show my feet in public? I understood it's permissible to show hands and face uh, around non-mahram, but what about my feet? That's a good question. And in Una and this, the answer for this is based on the issue of is feet considered awra or not? Some scholars considered part of the awra, some Maliki, the Maliki, Shafi'is. Uh, some scholars said that the feet are not awra at all. The, the upper part and the bottom part, like Al Muzani, rahimahullah, who is among the Shafi'iyah. Also, Al Ahnaf considered the feet not to be awra. There is a debate, by the way, among the Hanafis themselves and the narration of Abu Hanifa if he consider feet awra or not. Some said that he considered the awra is the upper part, but not the bottom part. But there is a debate among the Hanafi, rahimahullah. Sheikh al-Islam said, al choose the opinion that feet are not awra. And he said that the strongest opinion. And this goes back to the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in regard to the hijab, وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ إِلَّا مَا ظَهَرَ مِنْهَا They basically did not show their zina. The, the area of their beauty or what beautify them, except in front of their mahrams. Uh, 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 the famous uh, verse of, of, of what uh, that mention is showing your aura or your zina in front of your maharim. Aisha radiallahu anha, she said that among the things that you're allowed to show, al fatkh which is basically a, a toe ring. And this is reported by Abi Hatim. And an Imam Taymiyyah rahimahullah mentioned that and he said that shows you that women during that time, it was a common that their feet will be shown. Kunna yudhirna aqdamahun, like they show their face and their hands. And because it's not a common thing for women in that time to have socks or shoes to wear. So that's what the choice of Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah and also Imam al-Thawri and Imam al-Muzani. Uh, many of the scholars said that the feet will not be awra because it is part of what Allah made an exception of, like the way he made the exception that uh, the people, the scholars said al-khatam, the ring and the kuhr, and they said also the toe ring. So that means the feet itself is not something that it has to be uh, uh, covered. Uh, it is uh, much better for the Muslim to cover her feet, no doubt, and that's the position of the majority of the scholars. And by the way, some of the scholars like Ibn Najim, who's a Hanafi scholar, said, don't think because we said the feet is not awra, it allowed men to look at her feet or to her face uh, with desires. That's not allowed to look at a woman with desires. But, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always help us to maintain our haya and to help us to lower our gaze from watch, looking at what is not permissible.